Assembling the end, finally got the metal working resources. But bad news followed. Hi, all. Auto taxi driver fixes airplane. Aren't we modifying this engine's EGT wiring harness? Solved. The last few screws just wouldn't come off. Sprayed on some men's cologne. WD 40 is the same. Didn't budge at all. The port over and directly broke the screws. There's really no other way. Couldn't remove from the hot area. Had to force it off. It's just a screw. Get a new one. Isn't that what you thought too? But today we ran into trouble. This one isn't easy to replace. Broken screw is in the position shown in the picture. Thought swap the screw post big bracket would solve problem. Never expected. They are welded together. To replace it, we must replace the whole bracket. Isn't this a problem? Such a small bracket is installed on the tail nozzle. On the flange, it's similar to this bracket fixing method, but for the bracket, we need to replace. The bolts are inaccessible. We can only access it by removing the tail nozzle. Let's see. Luckily, I wasn't who broke it. Almost got into big trouble, but it's not a big issue. Fatigue aging hot areas. This is acceptable. Remove the screws fixing the tail nozzle. Arrange them in order. You can count how many there are. Each one is quite difficult to remove. Check the remove bolts. Washers are in place. Threads are normal. No cracks or bends on the screw rod. Look at this massive tail nozzle. It's heavy. You can tell the temperature is by looking at condition. Hard to remove this bolt. Let's set the tail nozzle aside. We can finally see the true appearance of the bracket bolt. Look at this tricky position. It's bolt head hidden inside the wheel hub with two cross heads. You can easily replace the bracket. Supporting brothers still quite reliable. I closed my eyes and opened them. Rested a while and the bracket was already replaced. The brackets at the back are all fixed in this way. A single move affects the whole system. It feels quite unscientific. My attention was entirely on the bracket. Which person installed all the EGT wiring harness for me? I was wondering why this wiring harness beside me looks unusual. So brand new, even if others installed it, I still feel uneasy. I need to check it thoroughly myself. Starting from electrical plugs, whether each clip is securely fastened, whether orientation correct, whether the wiring harness is twisted or has large bends, whether issues with other components. Everything needs to be touched in detail. Visually inspect each critical point. Take photos for documentation. The original wiring harness box mounting bracket has now become a burden. The wiring harness can touch it. Long-term vibration can easily cause wear. So it must be carefully inspected. Location adjustment. The necessary adjustment. At this junction, it splits into four wiring harnesses, each connected to the corresponding EGT thermocouple using old method. Gently shake to ensure that no components are loose. Let's take a look at previous thermocouple. Found the block was damaged. We replaced it with a new one. Don't be afraid of things breaking. Everything is designed with multiple redundancies. For instance, there are four thermocouples and only two engines. Even if one fails, the can still ensure the safe flight of the aircraft. After inspection, the install wiring harness is fine. Now we just need to install the tail nozzle and it will be okay worked from night till daybreak. I can't continue anymore. Someone will take over.